You? Yeah. He's out. You can still go. I'm behind you and go. Oh. Save. Nice. It's in. My name is Sandro Holzwart. My in-game name is Freaky and I'm playing for Veloci Esports. I'm left side. Uh, I got into the Rocket League scene itself at the start of the game when it came out around I think it was August 2016 because I was playing uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive competitively and with like every game that you play competitively you need a side game that makes you unfrustrated so I started playing Rocket League more as a fun game with friends after Counter-Strike didn't quite go as good for me I just started playing Rocket League more and more and more before joining Veloci I was a part of Renault Vitality in LCS season 5 and this crowd is behind these guys probably the best three-man basketball team we have in Rocket League <laughs> we made LAN Unfortunately finished last and then we as a team decided to replace me. I then joined Team Secret with Flame and Talacto in the RLS and we sadly didn't get into the top two promotionals. And then Team Secret uh, wanted to step out of Rocket League in about January 2019. So Veloci approached us and we uh, decided to play the next RLS season under Veloci Esports. Good. One to one. Nice. Mid. You might make it. Uh, my full name is Jack Pearson. Gamer tag is Flame, and I play for Veloce Esports. Zero. First getting into Rocket League, um, it was kind of just playing as with mates, and then I would say with the competitive scene, I was actually sub for Method in the Gfinity Elite series. That was my main sort of start, and then uh, yeah, that just progressed into another team, and then getting into RCS out of nothing basically. So before Veloce, I was with Team Secret, and um, it was basically just in R R R RRS, so not RLCS, and uh, multiple times failing to qualify for RLCS, so it was a uh, successful to an extent, but yeah, I would say it's still pretty good. And let's talk about RLR Season 7. How well did that go for you guys? Well, the season itself of RLS Season 7 uh, was going very well. We went 7-0. and oh. That pass does go over to Neil Cook. Off the backboard. Hold it. For there Freaky it is. going underneath. And it's a sweep in OT for Veloce. Oh my. Flame trying to center for Neil Cook. Is he going to take this himself? He oh. is. And he does. Oh my goodness. Flame with an absolute dunk of the century goes up. I uh, made it into the top two won the whole RLS season, league play. We knew we were one of the probably top four teams. Probably, we, we thought we were one of the top two teams, but we didn't think we would go 7-0 and and really completely destroy everyone in that league play. Um, I think we were a bit too confident in ourselves and that backfired a lot in the promotional. 10 seconds left. The Bricks went up three to one in the series. They fought and lost the next two, but game number seven, the Bricks hang on. Cuxier 97 retains his spot in the RLCS. And unfortunately, the journey ends for Flame, Niels Cook and Freaky. The seven and all rival series hopefuls unable to make it through on the second opportunity. They'll have to try again next season. In the promotionals, it was just we had one or two bad games, which cost us the season. The, the system is just so harsh on you if you have just one bad day that it felt really bad. I'm nervous. You can go. I'm uh, on Zealandais, also known as uh, Casio uh, in Rocket League. Uh, in Rocket League. Uh, I'm a player from uh, Veloci Esports. I've started playing Rocket League in Season 2 and getting into the competitive scene was more about, I'd say, two years ago uh, when I was a uh, grand champion in Top 100 was I was trying uh, a lot of different teams and trying to get uh, a name in it and uh, winning some tournaments. Since I've been like uh, doing relevant results, it's been uh, one year ago uh, with Method uh, and we've managed to qualify into RLRS together. Uh, we've won the GFNT Lead Series Season 4 together and then after I've got the opportunity to play uh, with Triple Trouble uh, with Ronaki and Tadpole. Across the field gimmick, shut down by Cassio, Tadpole up oh, there, there Cassio's is. there, the shot beats out the final Cloud9 defender, Triple Trouble in overtime.
time, take the win. I still think that uh, we, even if we made land, we didn't have um, a strong season and successful. Since I weren't really happy personally with uh, the team mentality and the feeling of our land, I think uh, I wasn't the only one on the team feeling the same. Now being with Veloci Sport and Tricky and Flame personally uh, is um, an upgrade in my opinion. Uh, as Veloci Sport is the best org I've been part of uh, since my entire career. Uh, Cassio brings a lot of fun and toxic banter in my opinion. I mean he's all, all over a really good player and also a really nice person. So having both of that and a really good friend of us before uh, he actually joined. Yeah, it was really good just to bring someone in who we knew, you know, familiar person and who's also proven he's already done well in RCS, so. He's a very motivated player to make it to the top. He has been on LAN uh, the season before, but he has never been the player people consider to be one of the best in the world. And I think he's really working towards being that one player. And Flame and me always had the the drive to be one of those players as well so Casio is really completing our roster trying to help us to be probably the best team in the world in the game number one folks complexity versus Veloce here some old names of yore on both sides of the ball. Oh, Cassio back out here. This ball kind of just flopped in the midfield. Flame will put it in, and what a shot! Cassio sees the opportunity. Oh, more complexities. Defenders rotating in, and a nice pass wow. play and in. Great start for the offense for Veloce. We said we wanted to see some, and they give it to us. Yeah. Veloce takes game four in three to one. Promising. They take the series. Promising start. It's just always good to start a season with a win, and. Us winning against Complexity was definitely a motivational boost. Here, Freaky across the back. Where Whoa, the he has a double touch. Well, Freaky will take this away. Violent Panda has to race back, but he has Astro on support. Oh. Veloce score. Three seconds left. Freaky takes matters into his own hands. You believe in magic? Because Veloce definitely does. They steal. But it's game five from Dignitas. Dignitas. Yeah, winning against Dignitas has really shown how good we can perform under pressure, how good we can perform together as a team, and that we will make some damage in the following season. Okay, here's Kate up with a flip now. reset off the oh. post and in for Vitality. Sio feeding his teammate in the middle. Oh my no, goodness. Follow up. To the Veloce corner, is anyone there? Cassio is. He's gonna keep it up, but just oh. for a second and Vitality finally do it. A 3-1 victory in the series, and they take down the undefeated Veloce. And Playing Vitality, obviously, the previous world champion, so you can't be disappointed in a loss, but we were definitely um, confident that we could at least uh, give them a run. So and I think we still did, even though it was only 3-1. But yeah, I'm still pretty happy about performance. Here's Flame for the final touch, and he puts it in! And goal, Freaky puts oh. it off the corner, Flame! There it is! Drop it in, and that's two goals. Veloce now walk winds down, they'll take the five-game win. Veloce improves to 3-1 and one in league play, a top-caliber team here. Beating Reciprocity was not only an, a motivational boost for us to be able to um, just have to win two more games to make it to top two, and therefore making it to land, it was also showing that even the top teams um, have to fear us. Cassio's shot it actually goes through the defense. Veloce improve again. And they are happy to take that one. Thank you very much. You don't want to play Rocket League? We want to play Rocket League. Thank you. We want to touch the ball. I won't. Now for Alpha. Oh, gets it to Metsonaris. Essentially tees it for a midair. It's 2 9 by Remco. TSM. Can they kill the ball? They will! Metsonaris at the end! Performance. Honestly, I didn't feel that much pressure in week 6 to perform as good because um, we were going into the last week knowing Mouse Sports had a really good um, season before but was not as good as a lot of people thought about them. And Considering how we prepared to go into this match, we also knew that we can definitely beat Mouse Sports. And 
I didn't feel the pressure to perform. I just tried to play my best, as I do every week, every game. But let's get into game four, a game that absolutely matters. If Veloce is able to win here on Utopia Coliseum, they will be headed to Madrid. They will punch their tickets to Spain. The last seconds in the last game against Mouse Sports were really intense. We had the lead. Cassio just has to stall this out of midfield and now challenging a lot. Wins the challenge, but Flames there too. A double oh, hit. Cookser just misses what? though. And Cassio is able to just push it through. Cookser with control. Off the wall. Are you Cassio's kidding? Cassio doesn't challenge and a lot finishes it off. No defender was up and that's a tie game. <laughs> Looking to pressure, but he can't get there in time. Freaky and Cassio will tag team that one in and Veloce's got the lead back. It was 2-1 um, for us and we, did, we just needed like to kill the ball. And uh, at the last second, uh, Mousepot was uh, able to keep the ball up. Freaky once more into the corner. This corner is their best friend. They can just keep it here. Then they have Mouse has to carry it the whole way. Speed. Unfortunately, one of the opponents still kept it up, and I had no boost to get back into defense. Cassio was honestly, he was really quiet at that time, probably focusing on the save he had. Cookster's up for it. It's on the backboard. Is there? Are they there? A lot tries to show. Oh. Cassio will save the day in Veloce. Go to Madrid. Excellent. Win there from Veloce. You knew Mouse were gonna pull out the stops, and they tried. A team that wasn't supposed to be here, a team that did not qualify in the promotion relegation, gets in as triple trouble disbands. They are given the spot by default and said good luck. And they said thank you. We'll take the luck. We'll, we'll run see with you it, Spain, and we'll see you guys at the World Championship. They and the moment it hits the ground, Cassie and I just start screaming like we were so hyped to make it onto land and flame. Uh, was super quiet. Flank is always pretty quiet, but he was uh, like I could hear his voice that he was really hyped. Yeah, wow. Well, when he finds to get loud, I was shocked uh, to do. So I was just sort of sitting there, just doing nothing really, just shocked. Uh, making a save that secure a game and secure a land spot is. Uh, Really uh, wonderful. <laughs> Welcome to a star in a simulator car, the series where we have guests who come in and try out our £100,000 simulator, all for the bragging rights of who is the fastest. Today's guest is our very own special Rocket League team. We have Flame, we've got Casio, and we have got Freaky. Welcome to the star.